Hey, what's up, YouTube? So it's been a while since I made the last video, and uh, it's been doing pretty good. I got like 20,000 views or something like that, which is uh, a lot, I think. Anyways, so that video was on how to make your 2009 Maxima or your Infinity uh, Bluetooth like wireless music and still get like the steering wheel control and everything. So I recently purchased a new vehicle. Well, it's not new. It's new to me. Uh, 2005 Toyota Tacoma. And it doesn't have Bluetooth streaming music or anything. No phone calls, nothing like that in it. So um, I figured it out. So I figured out how to get Bluetooth audio into an older model, like the second generation Toyota Tacoma. And uh, I'll show you that. Check it out. This model, this uh, Bluetooth hack, whatever you want to call it, works with both the Tacomas with the six disc changer and the ones without. If you don't care about the six disc changer, this is great because you just unplug the connector in the back of the radio that, that powers the, the CD changer and you just run your audio because who carries books of CDs anymore really? The radio pops out, it's pretty easy. The AC controls just pop out really easy. Just use something flat like a butter knife if you don't have a pry tool, whatever. Just pop them out. And underneath here, there are four 10 millimeter uh, hex heads. One here, here, and then back there and over there. So, and then once those are out, it's pretty simple. This lifts right out. Okay, so here's the cool part. So once you get the radio out, it this is the back of the radio right here. It looks like this. Right? And this cable right here, this is where the six disc changer goes. So you just pull out the six disc changer, or if your does if your vehicle doesn't have it like mine didn't, you just plug this little adapter into the back of here. And I'll link I'll link the adapter in the description below. Here's the adapter right here. It's just a cheap, it's just a cheap little adapter. I think it costs like 15 bucks. I got it on Amazon. So it has on one side the, the six disc changer plug and then the other end just has a auxiliary port. So I got everything bolted back together. C player's in, got that snap back in. The little adapter that I showed you, I ran along this side behind the radio over this vent, and there's a, there's a little wall right here. You can go over the vent. And then down beside the vent, there is a little compartment that goes in here that looks like this. Looks like this, right? So that just pops out pretty simple, pretty easy. And I cut a little groove in it right there. And I just lay that cable in that hole so that the auxiliary port, the auxiliary cable just, just hangs out of there. So if you just want to use it to plug it into your phone, you can do that. It's pretty, it's decently long. I mean, it's, it's long enough to get to your, wherever you put your phone in your console or wherever. Right. But I bought this thing on Amazon, this little puck. And it's it's Bluetooth, so and it has an auxiliary port on it. So I just plug the port into it, and and it's just on. Has an auto off feature. It's pretty cool. And my phone just connects to it. So then I have, you know, Bluetooth streaming music in my Tacoma 2005 Tacoma. So that's how I do it, guys. Here is the final look. This is just kind of what it looks like. Just. It's out of the way. You can still get your hand in the compartment. Doesn't the wire doesn't get in the way? But uh, I really like it. All right, so that's how I do it. Uh, it works great. You don't. The only problem is one problem. You can't change the track with the steering wheel control. Volume works, but you can't do it. You can't change the track. So that's like that's why you do what I do. You purchase this little mount. CD magnet mount mounts inside the CD player and you got easy access to your phone at all times. All right, peace.